We've woke up in Rome, Italy. We're here for four nights, so we'll be vlogging every single day. We got here last night at like midnight. It's currently like half eight in the morning or something. So we're gonna grab some breakfast and then go to the Colosseum. Yeah. So this is the Colosseum. Colosseum gang. In all its glory. How sick is this Colosseum though, man? We're gonna have a wander around, go yeah. up and get some pictures, yeah. and then maybe go in it. And we, aye, we're gonna we're gonna go in it. Why yeah. maybe? We well, travelled all the way to Rome to go in the Colosseum. We're gonna see how big the queue is because we haven't booked it online. Nah. So we're gonna but see how big the queue is. We're gonna take you with us. So you're gonna see everything about the Colosseum. I'm gonna vlog every single bit. So we went to the Colosseum, but you have to book online, and we never booked in advance. Sold out today. Yeah, Unless we did a guided out. tour, but they last for like hours. Yeah. And we just, we want to go inside and like see for ourselves, but we don't really yeah. want to be part of this group. Uh, going because through things that we're probably not and interested in. in. Yeah. No offence to any Romans watching no, this. No, I think but it would be like a tour. A tour is going to be like three hours long and it's going to tell you every month, date, time yeah. and Bravo, I just want to see the aesthetics and the architecture. Book for tomorrow or yeah. still for another day while we're here. Because mm -hmm. we're pretty close to the centre. Like, it only took us like 40 minutes yeah. to walk here. Tomorrow we might come back and actually go in the Colosseum. We're unsure because we're going to get up early tomorrow, by the way. And really go, early. like, I'm talking 4 or 5 in the morning and go Trevi Fountain. So if you want to see the Trevi Fountain, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. How's your pasta? Amazing. Unreal. Look at the scenes. What, what is that? A saxophone? No, what is that? A xylophone? A recorder or something? This is so relaxing. Real Italian pizza as well. How do you feel right now? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. We're giving you a hotel tour. This hotel is actually so hard. Like, look at this. Look at the ceiling. This is on some like Versace Italian type, man. Look, look. This is my favourite bit. The ceilings. Sick, innit? Can we take them to our room? Aye, right, let's go to the room. Look, marble stairs. How hard is this? They look sick. Yeah. How hard do they look? Very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We recommend this hotel. What is it called? Turner. The Turner Hotel. Turner Hotel. And then the wallpapers, the wallpapers are hard as well. They're like quilted. <laughs> Just stroke them. Yeah. And then this is the room, fire on. It's not massive, right? But it's Roman. Yeah. Isn't it? It's Italian vibes. Wait, let me get the deck you know on it. If look at the views as well. I mean, this view cost extra. We paid especially for this stunning view. Yeah. Yep, unreal yeah. view. See, you come into like a city break. I'm the one in a pure, mad, massive, luxurious Because we're barely you? here. Uh, like, we're barely here in the hotel. Like this, I, I fuck with this so hard, man. Like, the, it's just it's very actual, authentic. In it, like actual Italian. We were wanting to go Colosseum, sold out, so we've rebooked it for tomorrow. Colosseum. Yeah. And then we're going to the zoo. We're about to get ready to go out for dinner. Friday, we're gonna do like the Trevi Fountain, the Vatican, Vatican City, yeah. Spanish Steps and all that jazz. Yeah, just subscribe and be ready though. It's gonna be sick. Mm -hmm. We are on the way for dinner, night one. I'm excited to try proper Italian pasta because I'm not a big pasta lover. Do you get me? I've only started trying pasta since I've been with Gigi, so trying proper Italian pasta. Yeah, when in Rome, you need to you need to try the pasta. Yeah. Right, this is what we're having. What did you order? I got carbonara. Chacio a pepe. Pee -pee. Chacio yeah. a pepe. But we thought it was going to be tomato and pepper. Yeah. Remember, I do not really like pasta, but I'm excited to come try Italian pasta. Should we get your and taste respect test? respect the culture, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Just nom nom. Nom. That old lady in the tramp moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salty. Oh. Cheesy. Mm hmm. Mm. It's not really me, but it's eatable. I, I can eat it. I'm going to ask for ketchup. Is that bad? They're not going to give you ketchup. They're not going to get ketchup, no. really. Then if you ask for ketchup, ketchup to put on that. Just, right, it is day two. We're currently having breakfast now. 
as you can see. Um, we have got tickets for the Coliseum, so we'll be going into the Coliseum and giving you guys a tour 100% in the next clip. That's us in the Coliseum. It's very busy though. And it very busy. So that was just level one. We're still on level one, but now we're going to level two, and like the hallways are so sick, as you can see behind me. How hard is this? Wait, so this is real people? Look, these people are from the second century. That's like the year 2000. No. Wait, year 2000. The year. Wait, what was second century? 200. Yeah. This guy must have lost his battle, but this, these people are from the year 200. What? Humans were alive. That's mad. That's insane. Wait, so how are they stone now? They just recreated the, their skull with stone. I'm assuming. We're in year 2000, and mm -hmm. they donies are for the year 200. 100. 100? Yeah. Oh. It would be in the 2nd century. Oh, 2nd century, so like 108. Yeah. <clears throat> that is insane. Now this is the view we've been waiting on. GG, that is stunning. Isn't it? That's hot. Boy, look at this. We found a little quiet place where the view is absolute stunning. There's not as much people and look how amazing it is, man. I'm still like in awe. Shop about for tickets rather than just like getting your first deal. We got offered tickets for the Coliseum for 50, then we found it for 29. And the 29, the cheaper one, we got Coliseum, the form and somehow, I don't know what any of this is, but it's a better deal, so they're not just like Buy and your book first tickets. In advance, book in advance. We yeah. came yesterday and they were all sold out. Come look at this view. So hard that is. Damn. So that is the forum. Is that the forum? But this whole thing's a forum. Yeah. I don't know what the forum was until I got here. Is this whole thing a forum? That's the forum. Ah, right, right, cool. We're now going to go to the zoo. And we'll take you around the zoo with us. And then, by the way, tomorrow, Trevi Fountain. Spanish Steps. Spanish Steps. Shopping. Louis Vuitton. Prada. Dior. Get me. Come on. Right, that says at the zoo, at the entrance. I'm not going to lie, it's so quiet. Literally, look how dead it is. There's literally nobody here. So, so far, I'm going to be honest, my expectations are not very high. Just from how quiet it is at the entrance. But we're going to take you through the zoo. What's this called? A zoo. No, but like this, information. Mm-hmm. Right, this is like an information board and it tells you what's all here. My expectations are already like getting higher because look, there's wolves, bruv. I've never seen a wolf in real life. Brown bears, bruv. And then... Uh, Elephants. Lions. Hippos. Where's the elephant? At the end, the last one. Elephants. Like there's literally every animal in the world. And of course, now a goat is entering the zoo. Look at these big monkeys, look. Oh, they're gonna fight. He must be like the. He's the daddy. There's the boss man. Hello. Oh, aren't Hello. you a curious boy? Oh my god, this is beautiful, G. Oh my god, absolute gorgeous. Oh, you missed it. Oh, he's wanting some alone time. I better leave him in it. Is that a cheetah, G? Is that a cheetah? Because cheetahs are my favourite animal. Is that a cheetah? The fastest animals in the world, I'm sure. Look at this big boy. He's playing with the tires, I think. Oh, is there a stash of food in there? That's where he's hid the food. He's hid the food in there, G. So what he's done, he's obviously seen the other elephants, right? They're maybe scranning the food first. So he's like, I'm going to hide them. I'm going to stash the food. He stashed them in there. And now the elephants are probably in bed or sleeping. He snuck out. Go ahead, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Trust. David Attenborough talked about that. Oh, look how sick that is. He's going to turn around, you're going to get fright. <laughs> <laughs> how stunning is that? Look at that. He's stunning. Hello. Oh, he's coming to say hi, G. Hi. <gasps> you're gorgeous. Oh, he's stunning, G. Hi. Oh, he's posing for us, G. Look. Uh, oh, he's posing for us. What a legend, still. Thumbnail. Oh my god. 
Well, there's another one. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. Yo, I go on, Kurt. Trust. <laughs> Tell everybody to subscribe right now. Tell them to subscribe, Kurt. Oh no, he's giving me daggers cut. Oh. Hello. Oh, she's gorgeous. Wow. Stunning. Hello. Hello. Here we've got the goats, my brothers. They were just scrapping though. I don't know if they're going to continue. Oh, they literally just headbutted each other a second ago. Oh. Come on in, you. Get Dave out your mouth. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's foot stuck, G. Oh, no. Come on. Let go of your sicko. Oh, my God. He is a bully. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he's gonna stick up for his Oh! Scraps, Kerr! Right, what a legend stuck up for her, come on. Hello! It's okay. Hey, it's okay. I'm one of you. It's okay, I'm one of you. I'm also a goat. So we just went and seen the goats. And I just feel bad because I'm the lucky one that escaped. I'm the only goat that's free roaming on TikTok, building businesses, getting rich with a gorgeous girlfriend. So I had to just go back and say free up my G's. Here we've got the bear. A lot of people say if they had to bet against me and a bear, they'd probably put their money on me winning. I would never harm an animal, by the way. But if it came to it, I mean, I've, I reckon I'd win. Yay. No, he's a good boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, he's playing, we're playing games with him, G. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's been bored all day. Everybody just probably coming saying, Picture, picture, picture. We actually try to interact because see me, I'm going to be honest. Like, see, ever since we've come in the zoo, I kind of feel bad. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I do feel bad for the animals. I don't know yeah. if I'll ever come to a zoo again, but this is why we're trying to interact, make them have a little bit of fun, eh? Yeah. He looks like such a good boy. He is a good boy, isn't it? No, <laughs> like... Oh. Is that what I'm saying? Hi. Probably. Would you? No, right, wait. I've got a question for you, right? We are out. No, in fact, we're here right now. This glass falls. The bear automatically anger mode, no, like that. He no, like, be no, angry. Like, just the theoretical. Do you get me? No, A no. hypocritical. No. Right. So the bear, boom, angry. Are you confident that I'll protect you against this yeah. guy? Yeah. 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 He'll protect me, and then we can have snuggles. What can we name him? We could name him. I wonder how many names he's gotten over the years. Anna, we could name him. Winnie? Bob. Bob. Bob the bear. Bob! <gasps> See, he likes Bob. Hey, Bob! Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, you do. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Oi, oh, big ups, Bob, lad. Come on, he's excited now. Bye, okay. Bob. Bye. Say bye. Bye. We've just came to this restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful, by the way. It's called um, Class. It's near the Trevi Fountain. I got this pizza and then Gigi got green, no, green no. Uh, pasta. So it's cheese ravioli with pistachio and pesto sauce. Nice though. Mmm, really nice. Nice, really. What does it taste like? What's the green stuff? Pesto and pistachio, do you want to taste it? Just I'll taste it. That's not for me. <laughs> now, listen, I've tried all these pastas since I've been here. I've never been a pasta man, and everybody's like, go eat Italy, have pasta in Italy, you'll become a pasta man. I'm not a pasta man, cuz. <laughs> you get me? I'm a pizza man, bro. Oi, Trevi Fountain Gang. Ah, oh, look, how stunning that is, G. Yeah, oh, cute man, that's stunning. Right, we're gonna make a quick wish at the Trevi Fountain. Look how beautiful this is, man. Absolute stunning, right? You ready? Right. Three, two, one. We're going to come back tomorrow morning and li like we're going to come at like 5 or 6 in the morning. Hopefully it's a bit quieter, but it's still nice with it being busy. It's like feeling everybody's energy. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. 
we've just got in. It has been a long day, like so long. So we're going to try and get an early night. Saying that, it's like midnight right now, but that's early for us. And then we're going to try and get up at 5 a.m. So we could go to the Trevi Fountain for like 6-ish in the morning. So hopefully it's no busy. And then we've just got the shops, the Spanish steps and stuff like that. Day three, it's currently... 7 a.m. exactly. We're going to try and get up at 5. That ended up being 6. Hopefully the Trevi Fountain is quieter than last night. And then we'll grab breakfast, go shopping, go Spanish steps. That's us here during the day. It's so much more clearer for you to see as well. It's still busy. It's still and busy. I, what time is it? It's half, half seven. 7 in the morning. Still so busy, but not as busy as what it was last night. I'm going to make a wish in the Trevi Fountain. We are now at the Spanish Steps. Bosh! We're going to bring you as well as you can walk up. Oh, it goes away up there. Oh, shit, look. That's a workout, by the way. Right, that's the Spanish Steps done. Now we're going to go shopping because all the shops are literally right here. We've yeah. got Dior, Belen... Can we go Balenciaga or do we get cancelled still if we shop there? I'm it's unsure. Fine to have a Balenci one. Aye, we'll have a look. Like. Balenciaga, Dior, Monclizzi, Chanel. There's Louis Vuitton somewhere. Hugo probably Boss, Prado, Gucci. Gucci. Aye, this yeah. is this this area is sick. We're going to go show them. I'm assuming we won't be able to film inside the shops. Oh, Gigi's in Balenciaga. Cancel or cancel or cancel cancel. So Kaz has found his new color. How sick is that? It looks like, see, so it, nice. It, it's too big for me, so if I'm like this, I look like an idiot. But if I put sunglasses on, flick my arms and flick it back. Very hot. Is that yeah. Sick? Huh? Yeah. Comment. I like you in purple. We've not been shopping yet because Gigi decided to go into a makeup shop for an hour and 20 minutes. So That's this is not the first true. clothing shop we've been in and it's H&M. We've still got to go to Prada, Louis, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana. And guys, it's not even 12 p.m. yet. Is it not? No. Neither it is. Right, so we've been shopping but you cannot film in like Prada, Dior, Louis Vuitton yeah. and that. But we've just came to the Apple store, right? We weren't even planning on going in or vlogging. But, but this so this entrance, I'm like, gee, we need to go in. Look at this. Look at this. This is the entrance to an Apple store, cuz. Whoa. What the hell? This is an Apple store. How mad is this? This is all an Apple store. Three, two, one. Hard down and go back. Do it again. Behind the scenes of a photo shoot for Instagram. Me and Gigi's just got photos in there. Go on our Instagrams. Go show us some support. Yeah. We're in Zara right now, right? And look. One, two, three, four, five. There's like five floors to this Zara, bruv. This is so sick. And everything here is top tier as well. Back home, it's like, it's a hit or a miss. I love Zara. It's one of my favorite shops. But it is a hit or a miss. But this one, I feel is like... This is like... And it like everything sick here. See how we came to the Trevi Fountain this morning at like half seven in the morning or seven in the morning. This is why if you're coming to Rome, you need to come in the morning because look, look how busy it is. That is insane. Defo come in the morning if you're coming. <laughs> Worth it. So far, what's your favourite part? What's your favourite part of the holiday? I liked all of yesterday. I liked the Colosseum, the Forum, the Zoo, yeah. and then the Trevi Fountain, and a really nice dinner. Yeah. That whole day was just. Okay, this is our last night in Rome. Our last meal. We've got bolognese and pepperoni pizza. This restaurant is really lovely. Like the, we're in like a cave right now, which is why the quality is so bad. But 
Yeah, our last night, our last meal. By the way, I keep getting looks because I've put ketchup on my pizza. But um, this restaurant is absolutely beautiful, man. Like, look behind me, look how sick this place is. This is um, like underground, like underground exclusive. It's so hard. I have to admit, though, it's a bit claustrophobic. And the wait time is a bit long, innit? But it's going to be worth it because this looks amazing. The venue's amazing. The perfect last night in Rome. That's us back to the hotel. Oh, we're just going to chill tonight, you know? Um, and then tomorrow's our last day, so we're going to vlog. I cannot see. And by the way, you know me, right? Usually I would like to capitalise on the opportunities and possibilities that come my way. So I was planning on doing one vlog for every day. So I was planning on dropping like three or four vlogs of this Rome trip, but I'm banging it all into one vlog. This, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Just to appreciate that I've just done one big video. Um, and missing out on, I mean, more views and more money, but I am just going to bang it all into this video. So yeah, we're going to go to sleep and then get up tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning again in see three, in the morning for two, our last day in one. Rome. Bash! Right, that's us just packed up, ready to check out. That's the end of the holiday. I am tired. It's not even early, but I'm still tired. We're yeah. going to head into the centre, grab some bits and bobs, and then head to the airport. Our transfer gets us in like three hours. But once we're at the airport, let's do a summary. Yeah. Like, what was it. good, what was our best moments, and uh, any recommendations? Right, that's us at the hotel, ready to go home. No, we're at the airport. Oh, we're at the airport, ready to go home. Oh, what a day, man. I've had that much dough and cheese. I've had the shit sort of day. Like, legit, all day, man. I feel... Awful. All in all, what a holiday. It's been class. Yeah. All of Thursday. Setting day. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best. Like Coliseum and the zoo. Unreal. And then Trevi was nice. Getting to see Trevi at night and during the day's class. Yeah. Food, amazing. The bakeries, unreal. Nice people, nice food, nice tourist attractions. And then in like two weeks, Three weeks we go to Tenerife so subscribe and be ready for Tenerife vlogs because that is going to be sick summer vibes we're going to jump on this plane come back to Scotland the king return also by the way we're going to drop a full episode on Gigi's podcast YouTube video a uh, YouTube channel so go subscribe to that gossip with Gigi on YouTube go subscribe and watch the Rome podcast if it's no out yet just wait on it bye, bye.